uh, Bortles here at the World Championship 2022, aka Nats with the Jesse Flores. My goodness, what did you do today, man? Um, well, I actually, apparently, my name is Brandon Despia or Predator Plant Despia, and I was playing Jesse Jose Flores to correct you. Oh, really? um, here's the spoils, and then they're gonna mail us the Crystal BLS and the playmat. Uh, but I'm gonna use the better playmat. <laughs> Okay, All right, okay. for the main deck. Yo, yo, do you want to do your shout-outs before we begin, man? Yeah, um, I have a few. I'm going to shout out Joey, Joey Lynch, Creighton over here, um, Cameron Neal, everyone from Houston, South Texas, Julian, AJ, uh, my boy Zach, Hector over there, and everybody else, everybody else from Texas. Texas destroyed this event. Um, Christian Urena, he's, he's the homie. Uh, shout out to Bortle. Shout out to Omega Gaming. Uh, shout out to the Ops, who's my sponsor. Sir. It's Alfred. Uh, it's my son right here, Robert. He's going to top next time. And uh, shout out to Ramiro. Uh, shout out to my friends, Torta and Cheese. Appreciate y'all for being good friends. And shout out to my fiance. I love you. Sweet. All right. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, please show us the good, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the bricks. The Despia Monsters. I just play one of each. Um, I didn't really want to... At first, I was playing three Aluber, but then I kind of theoried for a while on how to fix this deck so it wouldn't really lose to Ash, and I saw that people were playing the going second Despia deck, playing mine, but there's just no way I was just going to let my opponent combo and have to like draw a going second card. So I just wanted to play one of each for utility. Um, this card, um, I just wanted to play it as well, so openings a going second card against the Halk decks. So if you go like opening when they use the, the Hulk, you get to negate the TG. Uh, for the uh, branded cards, play three fusion, three opening, two red, one banishment. There's nothing really to say here. Um, I wanted to only play two red because of a main deck choice. Uh, here is a stack of cards right here. I would say that helped me play around hand traps and they, they overperformed and I honestly think I fixed the deck. Uh, I was playing three Scorpio, one Cobra, three Keeper, one Instant Fusion, one Foolish, Keeper. three Cross Out, Called By, and Prosperity to see these cards. Uh, these cards are better Alubers because... Event runners to the desk, please. Public Event Runners. These cards are better Alubers because they both let you see Instant Fusion, which is also an out to uh, Ash Blossom. So we'll get to that when I go to the extra deck. Uh, I'm playing Million Mice. Uh, so like if you see any of these cards with fusion or, or any combination, you can always full combo through Ash. And same thing with Foolish. Foolish you can uh, players to the blue banner. Foolish, you can foolish the Bliss. Cool. Bliss gets to your Scorpio and Scorpio gets you to your Cobra, which gets you your Instant Fusion, which you, lets you uh, get the brand fusion. Uh, you don't really lose the Ash there. Um, cross out, I play a lot of uh, hand traps in my deck, I'll show you a little bit later, but also Ash is there, and then Prosperity will let you see any of them. Yu-Gi-Oh! 26, Red Banner. Um, for engine, engine requirements, Green um, this guy's really good sometimes, because it sends from your extra deck as well, so it lets you make Albion and have uh, Mirror Jade up, and there's a lot of times you can just kill them. <coughs> Uh, for hand traps, I'll play 3 Ash, 3 Nib, 3 Veiler, 3 Imperm. Uh, they, they, they were the most solid choices all weekend. Uh, also, I only wanted coverage with my cross out. Uh, also, with cross out, I played the Mystic Mine. I never activated it to gain advantage on my opponents. I just really wanted it for there for cross out, but in the top 16 match, I drew it both times. Or top 32, I'm sorry. And last card, Godarla. It was uh, Romero's choice. I just would never do that again. <laughs> What's the main deck count, man? That's 48. 48? Nice. Um, extra deck. Two Mirror Jade. Two Lebelion. One Alba. Three Albion. Um, I feel like this is correct. You have to play this because the Dragon Link Adventure deck got a little more popular. And it's also like a little more utility as well because you can also send both of them. Uh, I feel like the Ash Dragon never really came up other than um, sending it with this. So that already assumes that you're already playing. This card is pretty good against uh, the Dragon deck. You can also kind of like bluff set against the Dragon deck as well, which kind of does the same thing. Did you ever use all three copies? Yes, all the time. Nice. Uh, I play two Stapelia, 
um, one of this guy, which uh, I used with the Instant Fusion. Um, I wanted to play two of this because of Banishment and also because Flinderese was gaining popularity with some of the bigger players. And I thought this card was a really good choice. Uh, it's also pretty generic in this deck. I played Starving Venom. It was for the Attic Mister decks and for like the Psyching and Punishers and stuff. Also for Banishment. And for the last three, Chimera, Masquerade, and Millennium Eyes, literally MVP. Uh, half my deck searches and out to hand trap, so this card really helped. Side deck, three Joel. Um, I feel like the only combo deck I was really scared of was like Drytron or Dragons a little bit. And this card was pretty good against them. Also Flinderese. Uh, I played two Godarla. It's for like Flinderese and like weird decks. Uh, Pankertops, it's like an out to anti spell and it can all, like if they have like Herald and anti spell, you can like beat over the Herald and pop the anti spell and keep playing. Uh, you can include the Pank with the back removal as well. Um, um, th these three are particularly good against the. Um, the side decks. Um, this not so much, but it hits like anti spell going second. And it beat over the herald, and these hit scythe. And I just wanted like more dual purpose cards. I didn't want like cards that only serve one purpose because if you do that, you're s like this format. There's like 20 decks. And uh, cross out cards. Funny enough, uh, my top 64 match was against the mirror match, a going second uh, mirror match, and I prosperity. I sided in game two going first, and I I knew I had to side both these in and see one of them win. My prosperity revealed this, and he just like scooped. And last two cards, Flunder East cards. Question: Did you ever wish you like up the count on the last two, the barrier and the anti spell? No, not at all. Because like they weren't really meant for me to like side in going first at all. I mean, they are. I can side them in first, but this mainly because I play cross out because these two cards like literally kill me. Um. Going back, the only changes I would make is try to make this deck somehow like 45 cards so you can see your hand traps and other cards a little more, but it'd probably be like this, this. Uh, I mean, if they mind me game one, I'm just gonna play like I have an out. Uh, outside of that, I don't really see many changes I would make other than play Splite or Tier Laments next week. Oh yeah? Hey, so what happened in top 32? Uh, I played against Ryan Yu, who's a striker, which is already a pretty bad matchup. Um, I opened my Mystic Mine both games against him. I I got triple hand trap both game. There's nothing you can really do. It's just unfortunate, but uh, good luck to him. Oh yeah. Hey man, well congrats on uh, getting top 32 dude at Nats. Another top to the belt, right? Yeah. Thank you. So, alrighty guys, portal out.